Uh, Dave here. I just wanted to do a quick uh, open box slash review of the Valvood uh, wind meter from Denmark. This is a Kickstarter campaign uh, that I didn't actually get in on. I, missed, I, was, I just found out about it right at the end when I was shopping for a wind meter. Um, and uh, the thing costs about 45 bucks. This is the box that comes in. Um, instructions and all that. I was just about to unpack it and uh, and write a quick review because uh, wind meters are expensive. And okay, so this is everything that comes with the Valvood wind meter. Um, this is the actual meter, and the CD didn't actually come with it. I just put it out there for for size comparison. Um, it seems to be pretty pretty well made with uh, solid solid plastic. It doesn't look like it's going to break anytime soon, nor does it have a ton of moving parts. Um, so it seems in, in pretty good shape. Interestingly, and if I blow on it, it uh, it definitely spins. So and that's not even a very hard blow. So it seems like it's going to get a uh, decent amount of action from very low wind. Uh, it comes with a pretty tough neoprene um, carrying case, as you can see. Again, nice little clip on it. Um, some instructions, and this is interesting. This says, uh, let's see that or not, there we go. Uh, for Galaxy S2 users, uh, you have to, well, anyway, you need to replace the inner parts of the Valvood wind meter with these. Um, and so I have a Galaxy S2, so I'll be doing that, and then we'll check its uh, capabilities with the software. Okay, I got the parts replaced um, that they provided a video for. It was actually pretty straightforward. But basically you take this part out using this tool and then uh, put the new one in. It snapped in real easy and nice and it still just spins smooth. Um, again, not a ton of moving parts, a little bit of wobbly. And uh, you can see there that I've got a pretty serious case on my phone. It's a little beat up, but um, it just pops right in there even with the case. It doesn't require a lot of, um, a lot of information or a lot of space there. And then um, this Valvode app was really easy to find and install, obviously. And then uh, if you just press start, it just starts reading. So if we start to uh, blow a little, it should be kind of linear drop off, which is what it looks like. Yeah, it seems to do the trick. Okay, so in conclusion, I think this is a uh, it's a pretty solid product. It's uh, it's it's straightforward. It's simple. If you want to know how fast the wind's blowing, it's great. If you need all kinds of bells and whistles um, for other types of things like I don't know storage, max wind. If you can't figure it out by looking at the graph, uh, that's uh, this probably isn't the product for you. Um, but honestly, for the price, I think you can't really beat it. It's a lot better than those cheap little wind meters with all sorts of turbulence in their little turbines. Uh, and I think also the uh, they say they store online um, historical wind data, but I couldn't uh, I couldn't find that. So perhaps that's a functionality that comes later, or maybe that's something that they integrate with uh, some sort of social networking or something. But overall, I think it's going to work for my purposes, and I hope they do well.